Tomorrow, the 22nd, we have our Planner Fisher Two Times event. While most of these drops will be complete and utter trash, it's good to farm something that you are comfortable with and something you want. So I'm going to go world by world with you and tell you what I would do. And yeah, if you have any sort of special question or just not fully sure after this, you can just leave a comment. I'll reply to you pretty quickly. So starting with world three, we have Space Sealing Station and Fleet of Ageless. Both of these are pretty good. Uh, Space Sealing Station is used, I think it's third at best in slot for Shui Yi, and I've seen it used on Robin. Fleet of Ageless is fine. Um, I use it on my Pella just because it has 10 speed to it, but because of Broken Keel, Fleet of Ageless is kind of not used. That's not to mean it's not bad, it's just compared to the other ones, it's not that good. 1 4, Talia and Von Quack. Talia is used on my Harmony Trailblazer and Shui Yi, best in slot. Talia works really well, but I don't think it's that big of a deal aside from Harmony Trailblazer. If you're running Harmony Trailblazer, you probably already have Talia. If not, you should get one, but I would just craft one. I wouldn't even farm World 4. Uh, for Von Quack, we have Robin that uses this, and that's about it. But I like the idea of Robin using Space Stealing Station more. So for World 4 and World 3, I just craft those orbs. I wouldn't even worry about farming them. Because remember, 90% of the stuff you get is going to be trash. World 5. Here we have Pan Cosmic Enterprise and uh, Celestial Differentiator. Pan Cosmic is good if you need effect hit rate on Black Swan. Which I believe is if you're running no speed Black Swan, going for 120 effect hit rate, Pan Cosmic is fine. The other thing is just run Glamoth 160 speed Black Swan. That's way better. Um, with Black Swan, it's either no speed or 160 speed. In between, it's worse than those two. So that's why I say that. Uh, Celestial Differentiator, uh, it's trash. It's the get 16% crit damage when you have 120 or higher first attack gains 60% crit rate until the end of the first attack and that is just awful so world five don't even touch it you don't need to world six bellabog of the architects and inert soft soto both of these are pretty good um bellabog is good on Jepard, and if you really want to not run broken kill on aventurine but i don't see why you would do that and Inert Sal Soto is pretty good all around because of the 15% ult damage and the 15% follow-up damage. Although, in the case of Ratio Topaz, Rat Comp, Izumo is better. So I wouldn't even... If you want to farm for those two, I just farm World 9 instead. But, you know, Inert Sal Soto is pretty good all around. I used it on Shui Yi, uh, Himiko. I used to use it on Topaz. Like, a bunch of different characters can work with this. Uh, another character that could work with it is Aventurine, but I just wouldn't do that for Aventurine right now. World 7. Rudolent Arena, Broken Keel. Rudolent Arena is used on almost all crit DPS that want it, obviously. Duh. Um, the main ones here are Dill Pickle, uh, King Kue, and Jing Liu. You gain 20% damage for each your basic attack and skill damage, and on top of that, you get... 8 crit rate, which is 16 crit value. This is the crit DPS orb. If you want to build those characters, you should be farming Ruling Arena anyway. So you can just keep at that. And on top of that, Broken Keel is there. World 7 is the best world to farm, period, because of Broken Keel, Ruling Arena. Broken Keel is used on your supports. At least for me, it's on my supports. I think that if you're running a crit DPS, you should be running Broken Keel on your supports as long as they're not some sort of weird one like Harmony Trailblazer once Talia break effect rope. Like, it, it's a case by case, but you are safest to go with Broken Keel. World 8, uh, Pentaconi and Glamoth. Glamoth I see only used on dot teams, so if you need to build your Kafka or a Swan, remember that it has the 135 and 160 speed thresholds. So using with rear on May, you get that 10% speed, it's easier to hit the 160, but 
those are best in slot for those two dot uh, characters. For Penicone, this is a good uh, energy regen set. I don't see it too often for the same ally damage type uh, bonus, but it can definitely work. If you're using Mono Quantum, this is very, very good because your sailor will just gain extra damage. Uh, but you knew that if you're doing Mono Quantum, I'm sure. This world has been out for a while now. But that 5% energy regen rate is usable on a lot of characters. This is where you see some people are like, ah, I don't want the Von Quack stuff, I just want the energy regen, so I run Penicani. Like, okay, sure, that makes sense. But, teach their own. So, world 9, Izumo and Sigonia. So, Izumo is good on Acheron and a lot of dual DPS comps. For me, at least, this is Topaz Ratio, Acheron, Herda Himiko. This orb set is very good. It gives you 12% attack, and if someone on the team is the same path as the wearer, the wearer gains 12% crit rate, which is 24% crit value, which is really, really fucking good. Uh, you could also run this on Blade if you wanted to do a dual TPS comp with Jingliu Blade, Ron Mei. But I think that Azumo is really good, kind of slept on. Not many people use it because they're all like, oh, it's just for Akron. No, nah, it's not. Moving on, Sigonia. Increased crit rate by 4% when an enemy defeats a target, gain 4% crit damage, stacking up to 10 times. This is good in Pure Fiction and Pure Fiction only. I don't know what to tell you. If you don't want to run Azumo, you could run this on your Herda Himiko. When any enemy target gets defeated, it's not the wearer killing it, so Aventurine could use it, but do you really need 40% crit rate from Aventurine to do 2,000 damage? It's more just for Pure Fiction. I'm sure if we get some character that loves uh, Pure Fiction that much, then it'll be good there, but to me, I don't see it happening. So that's all the orbs from the world. It's just a quick refresher. Okay, so me personally, I'm going to be farming World 7, or World 9. World 7 is the Broken Keel Rudolin Arena. This pair is stupid. I can always get more Broken Keels. I always need more Broken Keels. I can never have too many. World 9, I want to make it work for my Ratio Topaz team. Um, I don't know how long I'll need Izumo for, but worst comes to worst, I get a new Acheron, Orban Rope, and maybe something for her to Himiko. Ranking real quick. World 7. It's number one. World nine is number two. World six is number three due to Inert Sal Soto. At this point, it's farming for one specific set. So number four would probably be world eight because of Glamoth. If I wanted to do Dot, I'd do Glamoth. Number five, I'd probably do world three because Space Steering Station is not the worst. So once again, me personally, I'm world seven or world nine. I'm not fully sure yet. I'll probably end up doing World 7 just because I want more broken keels. 90% um, of the stuff you get is going to be scrapped, which means that you can craft whatever you need or just hold on to those relic remains. That's what I'm doing. And craft it whenever the next world comes or next relics come or anything like that. I'm saving up for those because I expect it to be soon. And I recommend you do too, actually. If you are in my position where it's kind of just like, I could use some broken keels or I could use something, just farm world 7, farm whatever you want for needing an orb set. Each character is different for what they want, but good rule of thumb is if it's on a DPS piece, you want both crit rate, crit damage, or like crit rate, attack percent, or crit damage, attack percent, like any of those combos are fine. Just two stats and what you want. Speed is also pretty good. Anything with uh, energy regen, you keep, because energy regen rate is impossible to fucking get. That's all I got, though. Hopefully this helped you. Um, shouldn't be too hard. This is just kind of like what you're going to do every time. Farm what you need. Otherwise, that's what I got.